Hi everyone, and welcome back to the grand finale of the RNG series. Yeah. It's like half of the race that was Mega Man 6, the second half of that game anyway. How bad can this be? Because I don't think this game was too bad on the difficulty side, apart from the final boss. Oh yeah, unstable, huh? It's not like it just slightly shifted up somehow. Awesome. I mean, this is funny. <laughs> Peak comedy. And I think the rest of us do too. Now more cutscenes. Yeah, I probably should, considering, you know, she's just like uh, one screen behind you. Like, probably like three yards, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it would have made more sense if the four of them just teleported in, instead of approaching like that. But hey, who cares about logic, right? And so, he would then proceed to make one of the hardest Wily machines or final bosses in history. One thing to note about this game is that the charge shot is kind of weird in this one compared to the rest of the series. It takes some getting used to. In short, it takes like a long time to even get to level 2 Buster, but to compensate, they made the time between level 2 and 3 much shorter. Although here, the, the best thing to do is really just rapid fire it. Uh, I know it's gonna be a great run when I can't even do another hit of the intro boss. Yeah. By the way, when I say um, no level upgrades, the shop is still available. Which will be interesting because I barely use the shop for this game anyhow. Heck, for my first few playthroughs, I didn't even know it existed. I did that to encourage myself to play this game, to be honest, because due to, like, having certain upgrades and weapons you need to get certain others, I didn't want to do this run at first, but now that I've eliminated that altogether, we can play the game. Okay, who do I get first? Okay, Cloud Man. I'm doing this by the logic by one is free is freeze man and we go from there. And once again, you can always look at the weakness order, because this is the age of the internet. And if you can watch this, you can search up the weakness order. That simple. Really, though. Okay. It helps that Cloudman is also a pretty ideal first pick anyhow. Like if you didn't pick Freeze Man. Although hey, at least we have Rush Foil this time. I remember last time, you know, where when we didn't. That wasn't uh, fun. It also doesn't help that in Mega Man 6, the game just basically holds you at gunpoint telling you to use the adapters. Especially in like the in like the second half of the game. I'm just afraid of getting cheap shot in here. Okay, 
Okay, so far so good. I pressed the jump button. Yeah, I thought, you know, the game would register my jump button press, but input lag, I suppose. I know how it sounds like I'm just making excuses, but trust me, if you've, if you've ever played Smash Ultimate, you know what input lag looks like, and it's very real. So uh, yeah, that was unfortunate, to say the very least. Uh, I wish we just had the... We, I went to... Breeze man before this. Okay, but okay, that I didn't think that, that I didn't think that through. Now what? Uh oh yeah, you can just do this. Yeah, that's a thing. Like just think, these are some easy jumps that I'm missing here. So it's like, can you imagine the rest of the game? Like, the rest of this stage and the other tw and the other 11 levels? Yeah. Yeah, how about we don't miss easy jumps anymore? Sounds good for me. Sounds good for my sanity. It's like, will it or will it not work? <sighs> that was just sad. That whole sequence of me losing two lives was just sad. Although, hey, at least we still have two more to finish the stage. So I think it's manageable. Like, I can do it. Although, this is the part with the invisible platforms, unless you went to Freeze Man first. Although, to be fair, these are placed in such a way that if you just make a blind leap of the face where the platforms end, you basically always land on another one. So it's not too bad. Although, the Freeze Man thing really does make it easier. Where does this lead to? Uh, at least they're relatively hassle-free in this game. Oh, this is one of those games. Uh, normally I would go for that ladder, but that would just lead into a three-step step side mission for an over. For a level upgrade, and considering we're, I'm only allowing myself to get upgrades through the shop this time around, we don't have such luxuries. I mean, not that getting the upgrades itself is a problem in the in the level, because I know where all of them are. Yeah, other than those two deaths, this stage wasn't really a problem at all. Well, it's just my own incompetence, really. Eh, the boss is also pretty easy, by the way. Okay, this I didn't, uh, think very through. I'll admit it. Oh. I'm not sliding well enough. Manageable. This is all very manageable. Yeah, see? Not a problem. Oh. Pop. He's tippy towing now. I 
wonder how like other gamers uh, looked at a sprite the first time because yeah, you do have to remember, this is the first time Mega Man wasn't 8-bit. Although, to be fair, this isn't nearly as comparable to a certain initial redesign of another video game character. Hmm? Yeah. So, I got a 2, so Burst Man is next. Also, I just remembered that the middle stage for this game exists. So, yeah, now 12 more levels, including this. Unfortunately, in this game, unlike in uh, 8. Unlike in 8, you really can't. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's the art of the slide jump right there, really. It's like you either get the life or the E-Tank. Personally, I take I'll take the life because E-Tanks I can just after beating all the robot masters, I can always just go back in and buy them. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Oh. Very good job, me. No, I don't feel like I'm struggling right now, you know? You know, especially after Mega Man 6. Like, remember that? Yeah, the second half of that game wasn't very fun. Although, thankfully, there's only four Fortress stages in this game, anyhow. And now, this is literally just do this. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Oh. Slowly but surely. Although if you do rush coil off of it, you can get up there a lot faster. I'm pretty sure when it comes to this game though, like all every I'm pretty sure all everyone would remember of it is just the final boss. Oh. Okay. This is fun. Oh yeah, this is the game that introduced the concept of Rush being able to get hit. Thankfully they removed it from Mega Man 8, but it's back in Mega Man and Face, and it can be a real problem when trying to do some of the secret discs for that game. Speaking of Mega Man and base, if like the GBA version ever comes to Switch, I'm down for doing for doing a playthrough of that. I mean, we might as well ignore it. Ignore the R. Not like we're gonna be using it. I really do love though how it's a for upgrade is like you can either buy them in the shop or you can find them in the overworld. It's always nice having options in video games. Well, we're here. <laughs> I was just sticking about it, like hands up. And he's like, nope, no hands up today. Yeah. Really not too much to say here. The rapid fire button on the legacy collection version really removes all challenges from most, if not all challenges from this battle.
Almost. Uh, I went into that with a, essentially a handicap anyway, though. So, you know. Okay, so Freeze Man is next. 